is Jim Age from Tech in the City, but today I am in Las Vegas, Nevada, and I am here to do some workshops for some people who wanted to learn a little bit more about how directional antennas work. And wouldn't you know it, I ended up in a hotel room that gave me a perfect example of the type of problems and issues some people run into. Let me show you exactly what I had to deal with. So here you see what I was up against. Uh, you'll notice that the RSSI is negative 91 or 90 and my sign R is zero. Uh, as I turn the modem, the modem by the way is sitting over here on the table. As I turn the modem, you'll notice that I may pick up a few extra sign R points, uh, but realistically I'm not getting anything worth anything. Uh, but you'll notice that there on my BSID, it doesn't change. It keeps staying about the same thing. I'm actually working off of uh, three sectors, it seems. Either 72, 74, or 73 is the last numbers of the BSID. Those numbers indicate uh, where the tower is or what tower site you're on. But as you notice, it's saying here now that I'm connected, I have a negative 87 sine R of 1 on 74. And if I turn the modem slightly, uh, my RSSI will change, my sign will drop to zero, and this is all I'm getting all day long. So the whole problem is there is no reception in this room realistically. So when I pull up the coverage map at clear.com slash coverage and type in the address and zip code up here, I end up with this map. And that is supposedly where I'm at. Well, the property of the hotel, that's the front door, but that's not where I'm really at. As I zoom in, and let's switch over to satellite view here. As I switch over to satellite view, I see the hotel. And where I'm at is actually right about here. Okay? We're literally on about 2,300 feet in elevation. And what I am ending up with, unfortunately, is a situation where I am not in coverage, or barely in coverage. And it actually turns out that was true. I set up my Hub Express modem and I was barely getting 83 to 85, or excuse me, negative 83 to 85 dB on my RSSI and my sign R was vacillating from zero, searching, to maybe three. And we were having a real problem here. However, it did see three different BSIDs or base stations on the Hub Express, so you knew that there was, it was seeing something, but I had to actually call. Uh, some people over at Clear Level 2 support to find out, okay, where are these base stations at? Well, it turned out that all of them were actually located at one tower site. Now, when you look at this map, you say, oh, well, there's a site here, there's a site here, there's all these sites here relatively close. Well, as it turned out, the site I was connected to is over here. And now, that is actually 2.7 miles away. And you would wonder, well, why don't I see any of these other sites? What is happening here is that, well, let me switch to a different map and give you a better idea here. Uh, I plotted out on Google Earth where these sites were that were relatively close. And what I found is that this site here is actually being blocked by the Gold Coast Hotel. This site down here, which is really close, is being blocked by the other wing of the hotel so the signal shoots right past me and I don't see a thing. Uh, and no, the Hub Express did not see any reflections or anything. It only saw the one site that I have a clean line of sight of up here 2.7 miles away that's sitting on a one of those uh, tower sites that looks like a palm tree. Anyway, that being said, the center going, okay, we're going to have a problem here. Because as you probably have noticed when you look at the hotel itself, uh, also the glass of the hotel is covered with this probably a me me metallic based tint, which is not doing really uh, any favors for my signal. And it is dual pane glass, so I am also having a problem with the uh, argon glass that's inside the dual pane that's blocking or absorbing the signal as it comes through the glass. So this is a real challenge. So let me show you what I had to do to I'm fix this. For it is right about here. And it's, as I said, about 2.7 miles away. 
The other tower sites are blocked by, for instance, the Gold Coast Hotel right there in the center of the screen. There's another tower site that is down about a mile away. However, it is too low. It's at 2,100 feet above sea level. I'm at 2,300 feet above sea level. And the other site is, well, blocked by the wing of the hotel. So that's the only tower site that I can really go for. It's unfortunate, but that's what I'm left with. So here's what I did. I put the Hub Express down next to the window here, pointing towards that tower site. Now, what I did on top of that is I added an antenna. I have an 18 dBi gain directional antenna aiming in the same direction, taking advantage of the dual diversity. Remember, when you do flip that switch in that Clear Hub Express, the other antenna is still connected. So it will make a difference depending on you know, where it is. If it's in a location where it's getting absolutely nothing, well, then it's not going to help you. But if you can put it somewhere where you can take advantage of it, even the slightest amount, this is going to help. And this is the kind of performance results that I ended up getting. You'll notice that I have a Sinar there of uh, 14, RSSI negative 66. So here are the results of my manipulations with my 18 dBi gain WiMAX antenna pointing at the clear tower site that's approximately 2.7 miles away off in the uh, distance that I showed you earlier in the video and you'll see that my RSSI is at negative 66 now and my Sinar is at 13 sometimes it kind of bounces into the 14 area but it's solid it doesn't move and it works very well for what I can get I mean I, I obviously would want more but given the scenario I have of what is available to me, I'm actually in an area that is supposedly not covered. Uh, there is a possibility that I could have had absolutely nothing here. And with what I did, I was able to get something. For those of you out there who want to see uh, more videos, uh, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, other than that, if any of you have any questions, please shoot me an email. And the email is J-A-I-N-G-E at clear.net. And you also see it in the notes down below the video. Thank you for watching this video. This is Jim Ainge signing off from Las Vegas. Mm -hmm.